We are going to talk about the examination of uh, cancer, uh, testicles cancer uh, during the outpatient period. This is an important topic as uh, testicle cancer equals to um, about 1.5% uh, of all types of cancer and 5% uh, related to um, uh, abdominal area about six cases to uh, 100,000 uh, of all cases uh, in, in males. Uh, the majority of uh, tumors, uh, about 90-95%, are germ cell uh, tumors. As for all types of tumors in testicles and the um, uh, terms, there are three main uh, times, uh, period, time periods. Uh, in First, in children before 10 years of age, and then in males from 20 to 40, and uh, in seniors, those uh, uh, older than 40 years of age. The reasons of addressing a doctor um, and in the United States everything is quite different as uh, they provide a lot of uh, regular screenings but in our country screenings are not very common and therefore patients come to doctors when they find some type of uh, tumors around testicles or some kind of pain in testicles in one um, or both of testicles or if they uh, find blood um, during ejaculation. In case of non-germ cells cancer, um, hormonal causes are possible and then hormonal therapy is advisable. In the adults, libido can decrease. The um, feminization is noticeable in children. In the opposite, uh, mutation in voice happens earlier than should be. Then um, hairy surfaces in early stages and then needed. Uh, in less frequent cases, patients come to doctors, um, at, for example, at school, during regular visits uh, to hospital, and the doctor finds a type of tumor and then advises to go through, uh, through screening. The main factors, the main risks, uh, first one is uh, retropism and syndrome. Uh, so the some kind of congenital link, so hereditary factor, and um, collateral testicle tumors. So if a patient or had some kind of tumor is in one of testicles, then uh, he has a higher risk to have tumor in another one. According to statistics, malignant tumors in testicles are the most common form forms uh, in males of 15, 25 years of age. This is the period when males uh, are very um, energetic and uh, when they take care of their health. And um, in outpatient stages, we should consider uh, all any type of risk in case if a patient comes to a doctor with some complaints and in, in any case we need to um, to ask the patient to go through screening and uh, the earlier the treatment begins the higher the F, uh, the higher the the possibility of uh, cureness 
and uh, three factors, three indications, uh, three uh, that should be considered, the main that you can see on the slide. Um, then screening of uh, uh, testicles, uh, uh, ultrasound screening tests and uh, ultrasound usually allows to differentiate uh, cystic tumors. Then CT of abdominal area is also very important to uh, find distant processes if the patient complains about pain in uh, joints, uh, in muscles, then we um, uh, suggest uh, doing osteolosticraphy and uh, we also uh, suggest doing MRI of uh, brain in certain cases. Before the beginning of any treatment, the patient has to be consulted about uh, career conservation of sperm. If we talk about uh, fast atopy, after the diagnosis, uh, the surgery and chemotherapy, so after chemotherapy, reproductive function will suffer and uh, quite often these patients won't be able to have offsprings. So it's very important to recommend a career conservation of sperm so that the patient could have children. After the examination, we, we give a preliminary diagnosis and the patient then is hospitalized. For example, in our institute, Petrov uh, Center, the whole period from the first, uh, the first visit to a doctor to hospitalization takes about 10 days. After the surgery, after chemotherapy, the patient comes back to a dynamic um, to dynamic uh, screening, dynamic examination, and uh, the patient should know that they have to come to control uh, visits, control examinations, and this is our job to make sure that they do this. During the first year of treatment, patients have to be um, tested two, three times a month, uh, two times if a patient didn't get chemotherapy, MRI, uh, CT tomography of uh, abdominal areas after 12 and 13 months, and uh, ultrasound in six, nine months. Then during the second, third year of treatment, the patient has to come uh, for an examination one Every in every six months, onco markers are tested, examined every six months, two times a year, uh, CT and um, ultrasound uh, can be also done. Uh, then the next during the next five years, yearly examination and also onco markers or tests are necessary. Thank you very much for your attention.